Women's basketball's first Big Ten game of the season was an exciting one, as the Terps took on the Purdue Boilermakers Wednesday night. Maryland had a slow first half, but showed out in the fourth quarter, winning 86-71. Maryland started out strong with a 6-0 run and forced three Purdue turnovers, but the Boilermakers responded, leading by one at the end of the first quarter. Purdue kept fighting and played with confidence, closing out the half, leading 40-36. However, the Terps quickly regained the lead after the break, making it a back and forth battle throughout the third quarter. Maryland took back control of the game and dominated the fourth quarter, extending their lead by 18, suffocating Purdue's defense. The Terps ended the game with their 30th consecutive home game victory. Um, I thought they did a much better job in the second half, you know, focusing on taking care of the basketball, being able to run them off the three point line. And um, I thought, you know, getting to the free throw line was huge. I mean, we're leading the country in free throws made. so. Um, you know, big, big play for us. Uh, I thought we looked like Maryland basketball in the fourth quarter. Five Terps ended in double figures, led by junior guard Ashley Wusu's 20 points. You know, we were disappointed in the first half, but we have to take some lessons and learn from it so that come Sunday and come the following games, that doesn't happen, you know, because we want to show that we're a top 10 team and we deserve to be in that conversation, and that starts on Sunday with our attempts to the Terps will travel to South Carolina to take on the number one ranked Gamecocks this Sunday. And for the left bench, I'm Maggie McGuigan.